The fiber obeys the law of all organ. What does this mean? This is what we're gonna explain in this video. Hi, I am Ms. Soha from the Bio Academy and if you wanna get easily a higher mark in biology so you are in the right place. Subscribe in this channel and like my Facebook page. You can find the link in the description box. So let's begin. So the law of all or none, we're gonna talk about, we will differentiate between nerve fiber and nerve. We will uh, show that the law of all or none is a characteristic of only nerve fiber. We will explain what is this law and we will meet today the threshold intensity. So what you're seeing in this picture is a nerve fiber. So what's the meaning of nerve fiber? It is one axon. However, the nerve is a bundle of nerve fibers. So in this lesson, we will talk only about a nerve fiber, which is one axon. Okay, as you can see in this picture, this fiber is connected to an oscilloscope to measure the difference in potential. Time. And in this fiber, I apply a stimulation. What is a stimulation? Is a, uh, is a change that will lead to the appearance of a nervous message. So the stimulation is something that happens in order to create a nervous message. Okay? So S1 means a stimulating electrode is the stimulus made to this fiber. And R1 is the recording electrode, is the electrode that records whether you have an action potential or not. And action potential means that there is a nervous message that is transmitting inside this nerve fiber. Okay, so after uh, stimulation, after we made the stimulation to this fiber, for example, after touching this fiber, after making a pressure on this fiber, we will observe an action potential. Now, I did not make only one stimulation. I made many stimulation. So let's say I'm applying a force on this nerve fiber and I'm increasing the intensity of forces within a certain time. That means what? First of all, at time one millisecond, I applied I1, which is let's say one Newton. Then I applied I2, which is 3 Newton, and then I keep on increasing the intensity of stimulation. And what is the result? The result is really surprising because I, we will think that if we keep on increasing the intensity, the action potential, the amplitude of the action potential will increase. And this did not happen in this fiber. So as you can see, when I applied small stimulations, small intensities I1 and I2, I have no action potential. I have no nervous message. So even if I bring this fiber and, for example, I'm pressing down for a small force, let's say one newton or three newton, it's on an example. So I will not observe a nervous message. There is no action potential. However, at I3, the action potential is recorded and this action potential is maximum. And if you keep on increasing the intensities, the action potential will have the same maximum and constant amplitude. Okay, so amplitude is the, the height of the action potential. So if I apply small stimulations, there will be no action potential. And 
starting a certain stimulation, which is in this case I3, I observed action potential that is maximum and constant, whatever the intensity of stimulation is. Okay? So, there was no action potential for I1 and I2, and starting I3, the action potential will have the same amplitude and maximum amplitude. Even if you apply greater intensities, that, that means if you keep on increasing the intensity to I5, I6, I10, you will obtain the same action potential with the same maximum and constant amplitude. Don't forget, we are talking about a nerve fiber, a nerve fiber, okay? Now, we will learn now what is the meaning of threshold stimulation or threshold stimulus. The threshold intensity or the threshold stimulation is now, you have to study this. The minimum intensity of stimulation that records the first action potential, the first response. So, the threshold stimulation or the threshold intensity is the, the minimum intensity that creates, that records the first action potential. How do we specify it? So, you look at the first action potential and you see the value of the stimulation. So, please don't mix up between the stimulation and the response or the action potential. So, here in this example, what records the first action potential? It is I3. So, we say that I3 is the threshold intensity. Okay, so each time they ask you about threshold intensity, make sure to look for the intensity or the stimulation that records the first response in the nerve fiber, the first action potential in the nerve fiber, and your justification should be because it's the minimum intensity that records the first response. Now, let's go to the point and to the main objective of this lesson. What is the meaning of the law of all or none? All, so everything, or none, or nothing. Yes, this is what we were talking about all over this lesson. So, when the intensities of stimulation were low, I observed no action potential. There was no response. So, this is what we call none. So, when you make ineffective stimulation, small stimulation, you will have no response in the fiber. And starting a certain stimulation, a certain intensity of stimulation, you will observe all the response, a maximum amplitude and constant amplitude of action potential. So what does this mean? If the stimulus is less than the threshold, so you will have no response, in the nerve fiber. However, when the stimulus exceeds the threshold, starting the, th the threshold and above the threshold, the nerve fiber will, go will give a complete response, a maximum amplitude of action potential. Otherwise, there is no response. So this is what we mean by law of all or not. If the stimulation is not effective, you will see no response. If the stimulation is effective or above the threshold, whatever the stimulation is, it doesn't matter how you increase the stimulation, you will observe the same response, the same amplitude and constant amplitude of the action potential. Okay? Now, our summary. So, what's the meaning of threshold intensity? It is the minimum intensity that creates the first response. This is the only justification you need to memorize. And what's the meaning of law of all or none? This is a law that is applied to nerve fiber only. And it means that for stimulation below threshold, 
you will observe no response and for stimulation above or equal to the threshold you will observe a maximum response a maximum amplitude and constant amplitude of action potential okay now do you know what is the law that is applied to nerves if you know please write it in the comment and don't forget that positive thoughts will be your first steps to achieve your goal see you in the next video